So I just watched the first episode of Prehistoric Planet, which is the new documentary series streaming on Apple TV+, Plus, which is narrated by David Attenborough and produced by Jon Favreau. For those of you who don't know, I'm a pretty big fan of dinosaurs. It's something that's always been a part of my life, so I've always been very invested in it. And I think one of the things that really helped me get into not only just dinosaurs, but prehistory in general, is the Walking With series which if anyone who's a big fan of paleontology and uh, dinosaurs, um, at least like in real life and not just in terms of media, portrayed in like movies like Jurassic Park, you probably know these series and you probably grew up with them. And I think these series really stand the test of time, despite obviously uh, it's not all accurate still considering we've made new discoveries with paleontology and fossils. But the fact that these documentaries set out to depict dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures strictly as animals because up until then they had pretty much only been depicted as monsters whether it be like in the valley of guanji or other movies uh, at the time dinosaurs were always depicted as big scary monstrous slow moving lizards but what the walking with dinosaur series kind of came in and it actually took some of the filming techniques of jurassic park uh, using a combination of both practical effects and CGI and from that it basically created a documentary as if the film crew themselves were able to travel back in time and fill the dinosaurs in their natural habitat and from there they created the Walking with Beasts series which is my favorite out of the three something that really stands out well in that one is that these narratives that they would construct while still presenting this information and it didn't seem like it was coming off in a way that would be unrealistic. It didn't seem like they were trying to make like a movie out of it. And like these were your characters and stuff. But they were able to present it in a way where a nice flowing narrative allowed for us the viewers to learn information and to take it all in. And so the thing is those were in the late 90s early 2000s. And since then we haven't really had a documentary series that I've kind of come along and try to go with that same style of depict the dinosaurs and other animals living at that time strictly as animals but do it in a way where it's almost like an actual animal documentary um, there's obviously been plenty of dinosaur documentaries since then but the thing is a lot of them usually will intercut between with paleontologists talking about the information that they have that we kind of learn about as they show us the documentaries i actually recommend the youtube channel red raptor writes He's been ranking uh, various dinosaur documentaries that if you've ever been a fan, you probably have watched a good chunk of them. And he's ranking them in accuracy and all that. So I highly recommend checking him out. Uh, but going back to Prehistoric Planet, uh, there was actually rumors that Jon Favreau was going to do a remake of the Walking with Dinosaur series. But a lot of people weren't sure because I believe that was announced in like the late 2018 and nothing really happened. Instead, he was working on uh, the Lion King remake, and the uh, Book of Boba Fett and Mandalorian and all the other Disney Plus Star Wars series that he's been uh, heavily involved in. And so because of that, we haven't really had any news until probably about late 2021 when we got our first teaser for Prehistoric Planet, which seemed to be kind of the Walking with Dinosaurs remake that we had all been uh, hoping for and imagining. And so the only thing is, it was coming out on Apple TV Plus, which as far as I know, out of all the streaming services, that's probably one of the major ones that has the least amount of subs. So, I mean, I guess that's smart on Apple TV Plus's part because now they get all the dinosaur viewers in order to watch their sh to watch this show because everyone's so excited for it. And because of that, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and slowly more trailers and teasers have been coming out and they actually just released the first episode today. And so I had the chance to watch it. And it's definitely the successor that we have been waiting for of Walking with Dinosaurs. Heck, even the trailers actually kind of play up this angle. The first shot of, the, I believe, the main trailer, it actually shows a sunrise, which is reminiscent of the opening of the Walking with Dinosaurs series, where the dinosaurs and other organisms living in that environment, in this case, the flying pterosaurs and the marine reptiles, I think they're both represented, represented very well in this series with all the up-to-date information on these creatures that we currently have. Obviously, probably given within 20 years, this show probably won't be as accurate as it is currently. But you know, 
that's something that just happens as we make new discoveries with paleontology. And because of that, I think it really kind of, it's really cool to see like a documentary doing its absolute best to try to be as accurate as possible. Walking with dinosaurs and walking with prehistoric beasts and walking with monsters, for the most part at the time, tried to do their best to follow the accuracies or come up with theories on th certain aspects of it that they didn't have evidence for. They tried to come up with like as realistic theories as they possibly could. And so it's so refreshing to see a dinosaur documentary that for the most part, there was one thing that really stuck out to me uh, about the inaccuracies, but for the most part, a very accurate series on dinosaurs as we know them now. I mean, even like the small things like just having lips, often you see in most dinosaur media, you see with the teeth protruding out, uh, like the T-Rex in Jurassic Park, and actually it's Jurassic Park in general, you often see the teeth protruding out. Um, but lips and dinosaurs have actually been something debated pretty heavily. So it's kind of cool to see like an actual documentary be like, here's depicting them as lips. And honestly, I think it looks good. I know some people don't like it when their traditional view of dinosaurs is ruined by new information discoveries. But to me, that doesn't really make any sense because whether you want to admit it or not, they had them. So it, it's cool as like little details like that. I think another thing is adding appropriate muscle mass to these animals, especially the T-Rex. The T-Rex is nice and chunky and thick. Too often in dinosaur documentaries, we see the, we see dinosaurs reconstructed as if you were to just put skin over the skeleton, which wouldn't really make any sense because if you were to do that with a lot of modern animals, most animals would look much different than how their counterpart than what they would actually look like if you were to just take their skeletons and put skin over it. Another thing is you often don't see the bones of animals protruding out unless that animal is starving or unhealthy. Most animals are pretty healthy and because of that you don't see their skeletal structure. But yeah, this episode really focuses, uh, it's called The Coast, so it looks like this series is taking an approach of each episode is dedicated to a different environment and even the way that the documentary is edited, I think they're taking a similar approach to the, the Planet Earth series, such as instead of like the Walking with Dinosaurs series or the Walking with Prehistoric Beasts especially, both of those tend to focus usually on one or a handful of organisms and kind of follow their journey throughout the episode. Uh, whereas this, it seems like they're going through multiple different ones and even cutting back, which gives me very similar vibes to like the Planet Earth series and Planet Earth 2 or Blue Planet. I don't really care if they did decide to go for the with a more narrative structure or more just the different organisms taking each time and then moving on to the next one based on that environment. Either way, I think it's done very well here. Another thing I really like is the animation, the CGI. It's done very well and kind of going back to the way all the animals look. They look as realistic and as accurate as we know them to be based on the information that we have found. And so the CGI is done very well, with the exception of maybe one, which is the, I actually wrote it down. With the exception of the Tarangosaur, which is the Plesiosaur shown in the documentary, it doesn't, out of all of them, that one definitely looks like really CGI. Maybe it's because of they're trying to get that shiny effect when they breach their heads out of the water. But even like the Mosasaur, um, that looks better and it's in the same kind of the same idea so I don't get why the Tarangosaur looks as bad and I use bad as a reference to it's the worst out of all them but I still wouldn't say it's bad it's third place in a three-man race to for a metaphor um, but other than that I think the CGI looks pretty well they capture the weight of these animals very well I like the sounds that they do for them they don't constantly make them roar like every five minutes like, for example, a baby T-Rex gets eaten by a Mosasaur uh, in this episode, and you, when the dad Tyrannosaur gets out of the water, the t the dad doesn't, like, look back at the water and, like, let out a mighty, like, distress roar. It just kind of, like, looks and kind of, like, ponders. Not ponders, but almost, like, just kind of looks at the water, almost looking for its baby, and then just carries away. Because these are animals. They don't depict them as, like sentient creatures and stuff or emotional and stuff not to say animals can't be emotional but i think it's done very well the music is also something that i really like in this series or at least in this first episode i should say but it, the music's composed by hans zimmer i think it's done very well 
There are some parts that are a little obnoxious, I'd say, but I think for the most part, I think each musical composition captures the scene that it's betraying pretty well. I guess the final thing that I really enjoyed is just the animal behavior they depict. Um, obviously, they they do try to show like the accurate stuff based on fossils, but they also take inferences and use and use modern day animals you as examples, and you can kind of see where they're coming from. Like for example, the mosasaur comes to a coral reef and opens its mouth and has like its skin cleaned and its teeth cleaned uh, from feeder fish, similar to like how you see sharks and groupers and other uh, large oceanic predators come to coral reefs and kind of do a similar thing. So I like examples like that that they do. And they also make sure to depict animals as like almost acting goofy sometimes, not like in a cartoony way, but like say you see um, some baby lions playing together. Maybe one will like push the other over and flop over or something. Or actually I just went to Yellowstone and like I can't, I went with uh, with some friends and we were able to see a lot of baby bison because they had just been born. So we got to see them like, like headbutting each other and stuff and playing around, which is pretty adorable. But like depicting animals as more than just eating, sleeping, and fighting. Because especially with dinosaurs, it's really easy to do that. So I think the series does a really good job of avoiding that. Also, I guess there's a side note that I kind of forgot, but the cinematography and in the camera angles and shots that they get in this documentary are done very well. So with that being said, I think this first episode is a great start to a hopefully great series. And I think it is going to be very promising. And I think it's going to be the next documentary that children will grow up on and inspire them with their love of dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. So there's my thoughts on this first episode. Uh, I recommend checking it out. So have a good day.